would like to save my space. Alright, let's run it back. Now for the hard part, beating an actual run. <laughs> Good dark room. I can't believe we got that back up though. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I'm really bad at getting that in one cycle. I think if you get it in one cycle, you have enough time to do this whole next section in one cycle. Saved a ton of time there because I died to the boss. Set here because we need to grab this, and next we need to head into the underwater uh, coin. And as soon as we do this, let's grab the fire temple coin. Nice! That was very quick. Fire temple. There we go. Oh no! So you have to not get hit. I got kind of greedy. I almost had it though. Now we head up here. We have four coins. Right. I know the one we're missing. We didn't lose too much time heading in this direction. In fact, I don't think we lost any time. Now we can head to the sneaker shop. So that's our, that's our cue. If we have less than five and we're heading up in this direction, we're missing something. Get the shoes. And now we're super speedy. Oh good, we still saved some time. Probably because I had to reset some movement uh, when I forgot about the fire temple before. Head this way. Bingo. Grab this 
checkpoints, and then continue killing the crabs. Coffee, which we can use to push boxes, such as the box up here. Oops. First off, we want to grab this. Got there. And now we're going to take this hand it to the person we saved. Nice, we kept our dash. That's going to save a little bit of time. And you, once you give him that boat wood, you have to reset in order to get to the boat. So we basically use the death warp from the flashlight in order to get that reset that we need. Making sure to grab the tentacle on the way down. Boop. Yeah, you have to have the speed shoes in order to make it over this incredibly long trip. I'm not sure how many hits this is. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Nice, still saved a little bit of time. Hopefully the crab doesn't get in our way this time. Oh, it's just me getting in the way. Uh oh Screwed that up. There we go. Now we head downstairs. Right, 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 left. And then we teleport. Shit. Losing a little bit of time here. There we go. So now we need to grab up some things on the way. So we need to kill these two, which we can do with our ranged attack. And we want to grab this camera. Which is very important to get past a guard later. And we need to use this box in order to get that tentacle over there. There we go. Nice. I wasn't sure if I was in the right position. But we got there! Wait for him to appear. And reset. So, next up... Wait, I got the hotel. We're gonna get this coin. And we need to find the hotel guests. So, the, that guy in the top left with no weapon, he's one of the guests. Had a decent movement pattern there. And you mostly want to hope that he runs towards you. And depending on which bush you destroy determines where they spawn. Got it? Nice. This is just a push. And we head around this way. And again, this is business as usual compared to the uh, any percent run when we pick up all these guests. Yeah, I noticed a visual cue in the world record where I can line up that second shot. Yeah. 
And then we get the flippers. Uh, next up, we wait in line. We need to grab the camera. And then we wait in line. Which is one of the few chances I have to take a drink. And ask chat how they're doing. How are you doing, chat? <laughs> Hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning. And go! Uh, next up is the hotel bed. Right, okay. Yeah, this is the one I keep forgetting. But I remember it this time. Doing pretty well. Well, that's good to hear, Toyline. Open up that, open up that, smack. Making sure to grab this coin. And you always lose speed when you grab uh, the coins. Want to make absolutely sure not to grab that checkpoint. Because what we're doing is we're getting this, resetting, then hitting the other side. Heading through to here. And then hitting up the secret temple. Because um, it's, it's not totally clear, but what we're actually doing is we have to die. Um, I'm going to need that extra time. Uh, we have to die in that room. Uh, from each of the checkpoints. And how they're routed in is very easy to forget. So I have all of them marked on my splits. Yeah, this particular run's very tight, so even though I was only down like five seconds, uh, it was enough for me to be concerned. That was really close. I, he almost blocked me. Nice. Three seconds. That's good. And bandit coin. Oh no, we finally lost time on a split. <laughs> of course, I've been splitting late on a lot of these, so... I'm not too worried about it, because it's still very early on, but I do need to get better at splitting on these. Double hit at least, even if it wasn't a double kill. And now we're grabbing the dog bone. I wish you could keep this dog bone throughout the entire final boss. But unfortunately, when I reset, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose it. Where am I going? Right. Forgot where I was going for a second there. Get the dog. So we can get a heart. Then we head back to the hotel, reset so we can get our time back. And then we do one more set of kills. There we go. And next up is the trophy champions, which again I need a lot of time for. So I'm going to reset. That was basically me checking my splits as a reminder of what I need to do. This is a little slow. I need a way to double push these blocks, but it feels risky. Maybe it's not that risky because I have to uh, you know, 
push one of them horizontally anyway. 20 seconds. That might not be enough. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't make this. I need at least 10 seconds from picking up that coin. And 9 is not 10. Don't screw this up this time, Rogue. You're screwing it up! <laughs> nope, not quite, not quite, not quite. There we go. Okay, still have plenty of time to pick up the trophy. Which is the important part. Which one isn't shining? Is it this one? Okay. It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't in the light, so I wasn't sure. Okay. Now we do all this stuff. including getting the farming part. There we go. Oh no, I reset early. Oh well, at least we can grab it. That's not too bad of a time loss. Because we still have to head this direction anyway. It loses a little bit of time, but not too much. Absolutely sure you don't accidentally have left there. Got caught on the ground a little bit, which is a tiny problem, but not too bad. And to the island. So peaceful. I believe it's the second run ending that has you just chilling on that island. Okay, not too bad. Oh no! There we go. Up and in here. Oh no! Stop it! That's 18 of our 19 coins. Now we just need to head over this way. There's a shark in the water. It's hopefully not gonna get us. Nice! Okay, now we... Oh, sorry. Home temple death, home temple death. Here. Wait. No. We head to the island. Right, right, right down. This way, this way, this way. Get our last temple death. I 
I always want to run down out of that door. This way, this way, this way. Now we want to hit the checkpoint in the desert. And we're going to actually remember to get this tentacle this time. Nope, one more down. So now we have all the deaths, we have all the tentacles, minus the one in this area in the first place. Down, down, down. Head over this way, and up. So fortunately for us, the last tentacle is in the place that you get the tentacles. And that's going to allow us to pick up this ink. One more coin that we have to pick up. Or sorry, not one more coin, one more heart that we have to pick up in here. Nice, keeping our dash. Keeping our dash, keeping our dash, keeping our dash. And around, and around, and around. Nice! Nice! And are we gonna get it all? Excellent! That saved a good couple of seconds. Now we get the final heart upgrade. And now we go beat the game. Nice, three minutes ahead. Fantastic. So first thing we need to do is slam our sword in the gears to break them. Then we need to come back with the watering can. Put out the fire. Now we go murder the boss. I'm not used to running so fast on this boss. Certainly it's going to take some getting used to. sure your sword is already over there when the spinning stops so that you can more optimally break them like that uh oh okay. a little more clutch than I'd like but pretty good Not sure how much in-game time we're saving here. Nice! Three minutes! 